Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name's Ailey. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I have never done one of these on my channel before, so... Do you know, I just never remember to like hold on to stuff after it's empty. I either put it aside and then forget and then put it in the bin or I put it straight in the bin and I just totally forget. So I have a few things that I've gathered up. Some things are almost empty, some things are actually empty and I have managed to kind of like keep them. A lot of them are small so I managed to put them in this little bag but yeah, I just, this probably isn't going to be that long, there isn't a massive amount of stuff here, there probably is more stuff that I could have added in here but I totally just can't find it. Anyway, I don't want this video to be a million years long, I just sometimes like watching these videos because you can tell a lot from if somebody's used up a product entirely. I guess we'll just get started. So, I have, I'm just going to go really randomly, I've got Aussie shampoo and conditioner. These are new bottles because my old ones are literally soaking wet in the shower, just waiting to dry off so that I can throw them out. But I get the Colormate ones because of my purple hair and this one is the... Okay, I've picked up two conditioners here, but normally the shampoo looks like this. <laughs> That's so wild. Anyway, so these ones have got wild peach extracts and I just find that... Aussie shampoos are the only ones that I always come back to them. They smell the best, they work the best, they just... I always come back to these, so these I absolutely love and I repurchase again and again and again. Next thing I've got here is the Philosophy Purity Face Wash. I got this when I was on holiday last year and it lasted me almost an entire year. There's a teeny tiny little bit left of it but I have to keep it upside down to sort of try and get to that. It lasted a really long time and I really like this. It is quite a strong smelling cleanser. It's got quite a fragrance to it. I don't know if it's like natural fragrance or what, but it's very, very perfumed. So if you don't like that, you wouldn't like it. But apart from that, I really, really liked it. I didn't find a problem with the fragrance at all. Next thing, I have the tiniest, teeniest little bit left in this, I think. Yep, probably enough for one or two applications. But this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. Now, I bought this on holiday as well, so it's done me almost a year. You only need the tiniest little bit of this. And basically what it is, is it's a balm that when you rub it in between your fingers, it turns into an oil and then you basically rub it all over your face and it takes all of your makeup off. And I mean, it melts everything. It is a little bit funky if you get it near your eyes. It can make your eyes go a little bit blurry, but it doesn't sting. It's really, really gentle. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite kind of cleansing oil type things I've ever used. And that is the Pharmacy Green Clean again. It's pharmacy spelt with an F instead of a PH as well. Will I be repurchasing? I don't know because it was quite expensive. I've got Snow Fairy from Lush. This is a little bottle. It's got a little bit left in it, but my big bottle that I had is completely gone. I had this big bottle for two years. I think it was a litre size bottle. You can only get this stuff from Lush at Christmas time. It's the only thing I ever buy from Lush. I absolutely love the scent of this. It smells like candy floss or bubble gum or both. And it's got glitter in it, but the glitter always sinks to the bottom and you never get it all over you, so it's fine. This stuff is amazing. It's dead, dead gentle and it smells just beautiful. A deodorant, just because it's deodorant, I always use Mitchum. That's about as much as I can say on that. It's a 48 hour protection powder fresh. Just in case you're wondering, have I repurchased? Yes, I have. This stuff is really, really good stuff. This is called Mugu and it's irritable skin balm. I like a lot of stuff from Mugu. I think that they make really nice creams. It's all natural. It's really, really good for skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. I use this on any sort of inflamed parts of skin that I get, like I've got a little bit in between my eyebrows just now, I get a little bit on my chest and this stuff just works really, really well. It doesn't irritate, it does you know, it's just really, really soothing. You can use it on babies. There's, they've got one for cradle cap for babies. They've got They've got just pretty much anything. I will link them in the description box below because if you do struggle with sensitive, dry, irritated skin, this company is really, really good. I haven't repurchased yet, but I am going to do that kind of ASAP because I have completely, and I mean kind of completely ran out of this, which is quite sad. And this one is the new one. It's the Marshmallow and Elderberry. So they've got the original Irritable Skin Balm and then they've got the Marshmallow one. I have a little Superstay 24 Hour Makeup Setting Spray from Maybelline. 
it was all right. I wouldn't be, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I think I just picked it up on a whim because I didn't have one. Um, I don't, I don't think it was bad, but I don't think it was the best. I've got the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This stuff, there is a little bit left in it, but to get the cotton bud down there, it's a nightmare. And the chamomile stuff is only really round the edge. So kind of once you get to about that stage, you can't really use these anymore. I wish that they would make them just a little bit shorter because your average cotton bud just doesn't, doesn't quite reach to the bottom, which is a bit of a pest. But this stuff's really good. You basically just dip the cotton bud right down to the bottom and it picks up the salicylic acid. I think this one's salicylic. Yeah, salicylic acid is all what clear liquid that you see and then it's got chamomile sort of powder at the bottom so you dip it through both it makes like a little clay and you dot it on any breakouts that you've got. I have, I technically have and I haven't repurchased this, I got the QRX Labs drying lotion one. This one is actually pre-mixed, it's not I don't know if I can actually show you. This one's pre-mixed, you don't have to dip it right down to the bottom, which is quite good because then you don't have to worry about not shaking it up and stuff. But I'm giving this one a go just now and so far so good, I do like it. This is the same brand as my QRX Labs Niacinamide and Retinol Serum. This is almost used up, you can see just at the bottom but I don't know if you can see because it's got a UV protect bottle in it. It's basically down to the bottom of the label and I have already repurchased this. I love this stuff. If you haven't seen my video on it, I'll link it up here for you. And if you look at my video sort of from then until now, you'll see how much my skin has actually improved since starting to use this. So I've almost gone through a full bottle. I've seen a dramatic difference and I've already bought a second bottle. But yeah, so I'll see how this goes. I don't know how well it's going to work yet, if it's going to work as well as this one. But you basically do it overnight and it does actually help heal your kind of breakouts overnight. It's not going to make them disappear. Anybody that says, I woke up and my breakout was completely gone is lying because it doesn't really work that quickly. Next thing I've got is the Revolution Pro Brow Cushion or Eyebrow Cushion and this... I loved when I first got it. It was absolutely brilliant. It's just that little one that you open up like that and it's got a little sponge in it. But this completely dried out like within a week. So I'm kind of annoyed at that. It was a really, really nice shade. It worked really well. It stayed on really well, but it just dried out so fast. So even though it's cheap, I think that you would spend a fortune trying to keep this damp. But I don't know, maybe I did get one that didn't seal properly. I don't know. I just haven't bothered going back to try and see if I can get a different one. So I've gone through this NYX retractable, retractable? <laughs> retractable eyeliner in brown. I got this on holiday last year as well. It's completely gone. I love this shade. I need to get another one. I do have a Barry M one, I think, just now. I can't remember, which is a really nice shade, but I just absolutely love this shade. It was really, really dark, so it almost looked black, but it wasn't black really really good eyeliner and it did last really well on the waterline. I have a miniature gimme brow which I've used up, I think this one's in shade 5. This is just a really good brow gel, I love how tiny the little spoolie is on it, I just think it's perfect because my brows are teeny so it actually did fit in really nicely. I haven't repurchased really it yet because I've try I'm trying out the Barry M Take A Brow just because look at the size of this. I mean that is cheaper than this. And look at the size because this you can obviously buy in many I think it was like a fiver and this is just absolutely massive so I'm trying this out just now and so far so good I do like it it could do with like a thinner bit at the top to catch more product but apart from that it's fine I've gone through the more brows from model co I've had this forever I got it in a birch box and I really liked it but I was just sort of using it up I was never never really intending on buying another one I think it is quite pricey I've gone through a Benefit There Real Mascara Mini and it's just, there's probably a little bit left in it, it's just sort of dried out a fair amount. So I do really love that but I've got a few mascaras just now so I don't really need another one. I've gone through a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer which is just one of these little brow pencils. Very very close dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Max Factor make one as well, I've actually just about finished no, forget it, we'll add that one as well. I've just finished that one as well. So I've got 
the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and the Max Factor Brow Shaper. These are both finished. I love these brow pencils. I just think that they are the perfect size and shape for doing sort of like thinner brows like mine. So yeah. I have a L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. It does still have some stuff in it, but it's just, the tip dries out way, way too often and it's just so, so much of a pain in the arse to use. So that one's going in the bin. I have Ciate Fierce Flex. It does that every time I open the lid and it drives me insane because to get it off, I end up getting black all over my hands. This one is an Ori eyeliner, but it just, like I said, with the other one, it dries out really quickly. The tip on it isn't the best, and yeah, it's going in the bin. Can we talk about this? This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Horrible, 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 horrible thing. Doesn't work. There we go. We've got to push on it to make anything come out. Horrible. Anybody who says that this thing works well, I'd love to know and see and get to use your product that you've got because this is shite. It just, it's a great concept, but it just doesn't flow out to the little fingertips to make the brows. When you get it to, it makes the most amazing little hair strokes, but after two strokes, it dries up and you can't get any more. So, even with the first use I used of it, I got like half a brow done and then it dried out. People were like, oh, lie down and do it, or oh, hang upside down and do it. No, I sit at my desk to do my brows. If, I've, if you've invented a product and you're selling me a product and I'm paying for it, it better work the way that everybody on the planet does their eyebrows. Not hanging upside down, not lying flat with a mirror above me. No, sorry, not, I don't, nobody has time for that. So this is going in the bin. Oh, another eyeliner, scandalized this time. Just, yeah not the best, starting to dry out. I do have, I don't have the actual empties on hand, but I do have my repurchased. Another Arctic Fox hair dye. The other ones are finished now. This one I've got this time is Violet Dream. Basically it's, I'm hoping that it's gonna be more like the color that I've got just now, the sort of faded out color, rather than as dark, because I don't like it when it's like freshly done because I just find that it's really dark and I feel a bit gothy, so. I've got another one of these and the other ones are empties. That is it for now for my empties. A lot of these things I am obviously repurchasing. Some of them I've already repurchased. The liners and stuff like that, as you will know if you watch my channel in the past, I don't tend to wear a lot of liquid liner because of my hooded eyes. Maybe one day we'll be able to kind of do something where, you know, we can maybe start being able to do it again, but not right now. But apart from that, yeah, most of the stuff that I do buy, I do like, if that makes any sense. I'm quite lucky in the sense that when I buy something, I generally do like it. I don't end up hating it. Touch with that continues because we in the UK can't return stuff if we've used it. So if we buy something and we don't like it, we just have to lump it or resell it or something like that. We can't just take it back. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't really know how to end this video. Halloween is coming up, so if you have any kind of recommendations for looks and stuff like that to do, leave them in the comment section below. I love Halloween. I love seeing everybody's looks. I just, it is like my favorite time of the year. I do like Christmas, but Halloween's sort of like gradually overtaken and I prefer it now. So, so if you enjoyed this video, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.